from Snakes and Adders. This is just a quick video on a uh, diversity of species. Uh, you probably saw yesterday I was looking through some old photos, found some pictures of me when I was younger, uh, when Paul was teaching me the ropes before I bought the shop, and some of the stuff that we kept. And I started looking through the rest of the albums and realised just how much diversity of species has suffered with reptiles. And that's probably mainly to do with the explosion of royal python moths and everyone being sheep or following the crowd. Um, there is a multitude of species out there that are not necessarily any harder to keep. Some are, some aren't. But amazing species that we just don't really see anymore. And it's a crying shame. I was at a, a show uh, a, while, a, a little while ago and uh, a guy with a permanently frustrated look on his face with a black tail Kribo, which anybody who's been keeping, say, 15, 20 years, Kribos and indigo snakes were the ultimate colubrids. People loved them, right? Um, and everybody was just like, what is it? What is it? And it's a shame because once upon a time, everybody would have known that they'd seen a Kribo and that they jumped out of their skin with excitement that there was a Kribo available. I went to another store, wonderful fella with uh, variable kings. We got some of the, the vivid orange variables off him. Fabulous snakes. If you've not seen them, visit the website. The colours are insane. Um, and again, he said, you know, I'm getting people walking past just going, look, just corn snakes. Dismissing them out of hand. The point is, if there's not the demand to keep these species, they won't get bred. And these guys just won't keep bothering or won't do the stuff. The, the, what we've got to try and understand is, there is more to life than just corns with ticks, royals, leopard geckos and cresties. In the, I'll find a way of uh, including in the comments on the Facebook page some pictures. I went through the old albums sharing some of the stuff that we used to be able to get. It's not so much available anymore, but you'll see some of the colours and the patterns and they're insane. And I'm not even necessarily talking about trading up in difficulty. You know, you could keep Dion's rat snakes, uh, fox snakes, uh, leopard snakes, European four-lined rat snakes. Same as a corn. No more difficult but they just don't get the interest. Maybe it's not the pretty genetic patterns or whatever else, but they're cool in their own right. The tricolour kings, some insane colours, and purely natural as well, really nice, that you're never gonna get with corn. You'll never achieve it, no matter how much genetic work you do. Um, so, have a look through the pictures. If you're keeping weird and wonderful stuff, by all means, share your pictures. I don't want any sales posts, but just pictures. Uh, inspire people to try and get the diversity going again. The diversity uh, isn't what it was. People are going to argue otherwise, but I've been in the trade 15 years, been keeping 25, and there's definitely a downturn in the species that we keep um, compared to the old Birmingham Allen Oil shows where I would go and there would be a specialist bull snake breeder, a specialist king snake breeder, a specialist weird gecko breeder you know those good days seem to have gone it's coming back in bits and pieces and i was seeing glimmers of it but then seeing the frustration on the breeders faces that people were just like where's the royal where's the corn and not actually interested in the really cool stuff uh so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and uh, i'll try and find a way of sharing those pictures so you can see them